Welcome researchers. Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of embedded design in mixed methods research. This approach involves integrating one form of data within a larger design framework, making it incredibly versatile when tackling multifaceted research questions. So, why use embedded design? Imagine you're conducting a primarily quantitative study. You've gathered a mountain of numerical data, but suddenly you hit an unexpected result. To uncover the story behind the numbers, you embed qualitative data to provide context and deeper insights. That's the power of embedded design. There are two main procedures in embedded design, concurrent and sequential. First up, concurrent embedded design. Here, you collect both quantitative and qualitative data simultaneously. However, one type of data takes the lead while the other plays a supplementary role. For example, you might be running surveys and interviews at the same time, but your surveys are the primary focus, with interviews providing added depth. Next, we have sequential embedded design. In this approach, one type of data is collected first. Once you have those initial findings, you then collect the second type of data, embedding it within the results of the first phase. This is particularly useful when the second phase aims to clarify or expand upon the initial data. To summarize, embedded design offers a powerful way to enhance your research by combining strengths of both quantitative and qualitative methods. Whether you choose concurrent or sequential embedded design, this approach allows you to address different questions within the same study, providing a richer, more comprehensive understanding of your research topic. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more research tips and insights. Keep experimenting and happy researching.